Hello Patreon, 10 o'clock Monday morning, just arrived in Withington in South Manchester to meet Ali the flamenco dancer, not seen her for ages, can't wait to uh, jam with her and catch up with her today, she's also going to meet Silas for the first time, she's met Pip a couple of times. My favourite coffee shop has disappeared, it's this great little cafe called Boho Utopia, it's just called Pippies and Vegan Food, it was great, I always used to go there before our rehearsals but... As you can see, it's being repainted and it's not bright pink anymore. Hello Patreon, we are on the banks of the River Mersey in South Manchester. I'm here with Ali, the flamenco dancer, making friends with Silas. So, so whereabouts are we, Ali? Do you want to tell us? Because I'm not sure. We're River Mersey, Fletcher Moss, Didsbury, Manchester. Oh, thanks, Silas. And which way is behind us? Uh, that way is to West Didsbury, Didsbury. Oh, Pip. Forward, forward is um, Stockport. Oh, Pip. Oh. oh. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Gymnastics, thanks to silence. <laughs> He's thrown himself back. <laughs> Hang on, one sec. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? He down. He fell down, didn't you? Trying to do some flamenco in the park. This might work, it might not. We're gonna dance. Yes, okay. Moss is the place where the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds was first founded by Victorian women who wanted to stop the wholesale slaughter of wild birds to take their feathers for Victorian glamorous hats. Bye Ali! Good to see you. Thanks for today. Yeah, 
Lovely. See you again soon. Thanks for the books. Bye. Say bye, Ali. on the park. Thank you. Patreon, it's Tuesday. I'm here at the practice room in one of the corridors. Just made a lovely brew. Uh, it's feeling like a home from home. Some lovely pictures of Tibet there. There's some lovely Hammond organs behind me. Pip's making friends down the corridor. Things are starting to feel a little bit more open now. You know, we've, we've all heard the news that we've got these sort of penciled in dates of when the economy is going to open back up again. So people are starting to plan events. Obviously, we're still all wearing masks down here at the space, but um, we're starting to hopefully feel some semblance of normality for the future. Come on, come on then. Speaking of normal, here he is. Hey, what the good boys get? Come say hello to Patreon. Come here. Yeah. You like it here, yeah? Hey. Come on, should we go and tune this piano?
thanks for doing the tuning. So how did you learn about? Uh, I came across uh, this tuner whose name is John Greenhold. And I heard that he's looking for an apprentice. And that was in 2017. And then he interviewed me and he agreed. And here I am, it, the, the learning of it, to get the basics, it takes about three years, but it's been four or five now. So yeah, and he's, he's a legend. The reason why pianos go out of tune is, can be lots of various ones, i.e. from lots of playing or temperature changes that not many people are aware. And you should tune pianos about each half year or worst case one year never leave it for too long if you want your piano happy get it tuned <laughs> and what about pianos that got left out in the rain for three days i, I wish i wouldn't bad? go and tune them but <laughs> <laughs> no tom, tom did very well with this one it's really a nice piano and nice make uh but yeah any pianos a lot of a lot of the times people think that you can't get back a piano back to shape, which, which you definitely can try. And there are so many DIY simple things which you can do to fix them up through time, not instantly. <laughs> so do you play piano? Is that your main instrument? or? Have you... Yeah, yeah, I've been trained uh, since very little classical piano. And then I came to England and I studied popular music and tech. And performance um, yeah was that at Salford you mean yes the masters yeah it was in Salford oh so you studied with Claire Claire Hogan awesome. <laughs> another legend yeah sure I'm gonna get her on the channel one day yeah yeah that yeah, would be so sure. sick yeah. cool yeah. so where can we find your services online uh, at the moment I have a Facebook page which is called Fremontes tuning and service, but I don't think there are that many uh, piano tuners on Facebook. So if you just put tuning and service, you'll find that weird name, <laughs> almost like a diamond. <laughs> uh, so that's me. Cool. And I tour, tune around Manchester in the area. Cool, thanks. Anything else you want to add? No, Is that call cool. Me. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was one thing. So you mentioned earlier your possibly taken over the best well well it is it is i've been my 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 teacher the legend john greenhold uh, he decided to retire and he trained me up so he's passing on his 40 years of life um so that's been been very challenging and very awesome and yeah wow. for it him sounds too. like a real honor it sounds like a master yeah very big gift of life. And you're building an instrument, aren't you? Is it a clavichord or something? Yeah, so when he retired, he had so much time on his hands and uh, he started building uh, clavichords from scratch. And he thought that I should build one. <laughs> Where I never worked with wood, never even thought I would be working with wood or all of those saws. <laughs> yeah, I'm 50% I'm done with it. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. What kind of instrument is a clavichord? It's very old school. Uh, string instruments has a couple of octaves. Um, very quiet. I think it's Baroque, Baroque old instruments. Um, but I'm hoping to put a pickup into mine so I could mm. plug it in and record it or maybe do some gigs on stage. Yeah, that would be great. So it's a keyboard interface, like a piano. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like an early With piano. With a soundboard, yeah. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Awesome. <laughs>